Hello students, welcome to Mintu Maths classes. Your question is, find the domain and range of fx that is equals to x square upon 1 plus x square. Now, first of all we are going to do the calculation for the domain of f. Now, the domain of f is those values of x for which your fx is defined or your fx takes real values. So, your fx is defined since there is no square root function but your fx is defined as rational function and rational function may aap kya verify karte that denominator should not be non-zero so your fx is defined for all x belongs to real line, real number such that your 1 plus x square should not be equals to zero now you can see that since x square is always greater than equals to 0, agar aap 1 add karenge both sides, then it will imply that x square plus 1 will always be greater than equals to 1. So, x square plus 1 denominator will always be greater than equals to 1. So, it cannot, it can never be equals to 0. So, the domain of your function f is the whole real line. Next, we are going to uh, do the calculation for range of f. Now, to find the range of f, we are going to let y is equals to x square upon 1 plus x square. So, we are going to convert our function in the form x is a function of y. So, by cross multiplying y plus y x square should be equals to x square. And that must implies <coughs> y is equals to 1 minus y x square or we can write that x square is equals to y upon 1 minus y or x can be defined as plus minus square root of y upon 1 minus y. Now <coughs> your function is defined as x as a function of y. Now you have for the range we have to find those values of y for which your x takes real values. So your x takes real values when the ये जो भी आपका denominator जो square root में जो भी आपका function लिखा है, first of all that should be positive and the denominator should be non-zero. Now, for this function, अगर आप इन दोनों को uh, 1 minus y से multiply कर देते हैं, then 1 minus y into y upon 1 minus y square should be positive and y should not be equals to 1. Okay, now the denominator, the square of every anything is always positive. So we have to just verify that your y into 1 minus y should be positive and y should not be equals to 1. Now, and now you can uh, observe that this is a quadratic expression. So, first of all, you will make the coefficient of y square positive. Banayenge. So, we are going to multiply both sides with minus sign. Or agar aap minus sign se dono side multiply karte and then it will become y into y minus 1 should be in, aapki inequality change ho jayegi and y should not be equals to 1. Now this can be written as this quadratic has this quadratic has two factors. First one is 0 and the other one is 1 and you have to find those values of y for which your expression quadratic expression is negative and your quadratic expression is <laughs> negative when y lies in between 0 to 1 and y should not be equals to 1 so it will imply that y should be greater than equals to 0 and strictly less than 1 because it should not be uh, equals to 1. 
so this will give you the range of f this is the range of f 